Hi, it's Becca from Families and Babies and this video is all about the cradle and cross cradle hold. First things first, when we pick a baby up because they've shown a feeding cue, we want to make sure that we're sitting comfortably. Our shoulders are nice and relaxed and we've got any drinks, snacks or our phone or TV remote to hand. We don't want to be getting back up again once we've settled in for a feed. We're going to do the cross cradle first. We want to make sure that we're following a few key points. And those are that we have baby close to us. We want baby's head free so they can move it back. And they want to be in line. So that means baby's ears, shoulders, hips and feet are all in one line with no twisting as this can pull baby across from breast. We're going to want to make sure that baby's nose is to nipple. This way they can get a nice deep latch. And we're also going to want to make sure that baby's arms are out. We don't want them up in front of them as this can push baby away. So the cross cradle would want to use the opposite arm to the side that baby is going to feed on. So baby is coming on my right so I would use my left arm. We're going to have it in an L shape or as if our hand is in a mitten glove and we're going to place it across baby's shoulders. We're not going to use this arm right now, but we're going to make sure that baby is close to us. Their arms aren't up between them. They're in a nice line and their head is free to come back. We're going to wait for baby's head to come back, their mouth to open nice and wide, and we're going to use this arm to bring baby in nice and firm. We should see that baby is getting on with nice full cheeks. When baby first latches on over the first few weeks, it's normal to experience a toe curling pain that lasts around 20 seconds. This is off and you won't experience this forever. We like to suggest tapping it out. So tapping your hand, tapping your feet, or just counting until that pain's eased. Once that pain's gone, we're wanting a pain-free feed. We'd like baby to have nice full cheeks with no sucking in. We don't want any noises other than swallowing, which we should hear from around three to four days. Baby should be feeding around eight to 12 times in 24 hours, lasting around 10 to 40 minutes each. Unless baby is having a growth spurt where we can see these increase. We want baby to be finishing a feed themselves and when they come off our nipple to be a nice rounded shape. If we see any pinching on our nipple or blanching do speak to your midwife or health visitor for some extra support. So for the cradle we would use the arm from the side baby's feeding off which would come underneath baby and we can move this arm down. This will provide baby with a little bit of support here but they've still got that head free to move. Always make sure our shoulders are relaxed before they're latched on and we can settle in and have a lovely pain-free feed. In summary, we want to make sure that baby is close, the head is free, they are in line and their nose to nipple and expect an initial latch on pain which is toe curling but after this we'd expect you to be feeding pain-free. Baby should have full cheeks and not be making any noises like clicking. Swallows can be heard after around three to four days. We'd expect baby to feed eight to 12 times in 24 hours, though it might be less on the first two to three days. These feeds might increase over growth spurt time. We'd be looking for each feed to last between 10 and 40 minutes long and baby should be coming off the breast themselves and we'd want baby content be always feeds more than 12 times in 24 hours, feeds less than 10 minutes or more than 40 minutes at most or every feed, and they don't come off the breast themselves and are happy and content in between feeds, do speak to your midwife or health visitor for further support or information.
when baby unlatches from the breast we don't want to see any blanching or pinching on our nipple ideally our nipple should be a nice round shape though maybe longer than before 